50 hours to get the wagon out to the quarry. You probably could have got there in about an hour and a half without the wagons, but the roads and stuff well. have been have been transporting these big rocks, you know, so there's a lot of weight and stuff like that going down the road. Uh, but you all managed to get there because Brad refused to get out and walk, so. Brad. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, you all, you all finally arrived to where the quarry is at, and what pretty much what you've got is a big hole in the ground, and you can see lots of rocks and that kind of stuff. Uh, you also see what looks to be like a tent town, where there's lots of uh, people that do quarry stuff. You see a lot of wagons and that kind of stuff. And all of them are empty. Several mules and that kind of stuff that are around. So it's it's pretty much a a warehouse, well not a warehouse, but a a work area and uh, you go out there and you finally talk to the right person and he takes you over to the edge of the quarry and it, it is like a road that goes down like a spiral goes down into the bottom of it and at the bottom of it there is an actual pit and he, he explains to you that uh, as they was chopping up the rock and that kind of stuff uh, this cave fell in and opened up and so they sit down a couple of people to see you know what it was at the bottom of it it was some really nice looking quartz down here it's some, some beautiful rock problem is is whenever they got down there they said they heard something and it was a moaning type sound it sounded like the ground was uh vibrating and all that sort of stuff they just said it's probably a dragon they wouldn't go on back down there we haven't seen anything but i can't get any of these people to work unless we can get somebody to go down in there and get rid of this problem. <laughs> and it's pretty much a hole in the ground, all right, guys? So I don't need to show you that, so. Does it look like the hole when we fought the bullet? Uh, it's about the right size, yes. But the sounds and stuff that he's making does not sound like, doesn't sound like it's a bullet. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll ask the foreman or whoever it was that we were talking to. Uh, how did he send people down there? Uh, with rope and there's the rope and stuff is still there. And you can see what looks like a tripod sticking over the uh, the mouth of it with a rope dangling down inside. Oh, of it. like a little rope elevator or rope lift. Yeah. Hmm. How many of us can go down on it at one time? One. We might as well send Ragnar in first. Yeah, Ragnar first. Not Timothy? <laughs> not Timothy, not so much. Sorry, uh, Brian. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you have decided to send Ragnar down first. If that's okay with Ragnar, I don't want to speak for Ragnar, but I'm assuming I mean, Ragnar is cool with that. I'm cool with going first if we're going down to fight it. Do we want to pull? Do we want to lure it up to fight it? Is my only question. Well, I don't think he said it came up ever. Oh, okay. Then let's, yeah, let's go. I'll go first. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, go second. Uh, Necron will go third. We're gonna try out the Fog of War. Vance Fog of War? Yeah. We're gonna try it out, see what happens. I don't know how it will how it will work. Alright, so here we go. So I'm gonna bring I'm gonna send Ragnar down first. Ragnar. Hopefully I, I did the right one. I don't know. I might have to log out log my camera. Yeah, I did. Alright, so Ragnar, I've sent you down first. It should have opened up into a cavern. Hopefully. Yeah, I, I see a cavern, but I also see everyone and a toe. Everyone's a... Uh... Well, but just ignore them. They're going to come oh. down eventually, but just ignore them right now. Right now, we'll just... Here, let me just pull them over here out of the way. Ragnar's like, what treachery is this? Why does uh, Timothy have, like, a, a trillion hit points? I don't know. This <laughs> let's, let's, let's fix Timothy real quick. Yeah. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So, Ragnar, you're the only one who comes down the cavern. Everybody else, I'm kind of sticking off over to the edge. 
and I should be able to see what you are seeing. Sorry about that. I know y'all could see all that. Oh yeah, I like this. Now oh, that's right. I I gotta fix your character, don't I? Yeah, I should be able to see sixty feet in dark. Yeah, let me fix that. Sixty. Sixty. This new. And you have sight. There we go. And then let me fix your character sheet then. Players. Players, players, players. Players, folders. Noah is Ragnar. Yep. You are highlighted. Uh, yep, you are. Edit. Remove. And select token. Okay, you should be able to pull that over and it should work now. So that's what you can, that's what you can see. You can see the cavern comes down and you see out 60 foot and so far you see nothing. Uh, but nothing has attacked you. Uh, what do you hear? Go ahead and make a perception roll. Okay. The back dog got out. What about the front dog? Uh, you don't hear any sounds or anything like that there except for the drip of water uh, somewhere in the back part of the cavern type thing. And so you can either holler up to them or you can go exploring. I'm gonna step this way a little and then holler back up. Say, come on down, y'all. All right, who is gonna come down next? I, sh I said I would go down next. So Darvin is going down next. Can put out that way, I don't know. You should be able to see yourself somewhere in there. Just move yourself. It's where next to uh, Ragnar. That square right there is the square you're coming down from the roll bar. So you actually have to move away from that in order to allow someone else to come down. We, there you go. I'm still on this uh, map with Nestor Reed. I know. Oh, okay. Because people are coming down one at a time. Go ahead and make a, a uh, section check. Gotcha. All right. Section. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what you hear coming from the north, you hear what sounds to be like rumbling or somebody rolling a boulder along the ground is what it sounds like. It sounds like it's a pretty big freaking boulder too and it is coming your direction Ragnar there's some kind of giant boulder coming our direction okay Ragnar so and, and then I wonder why he can't hear it and then I slip the the bands of the goggles up over his ears so that he can hear better oh there we go that's there's a giant boulder or something coming directly towards us okay so everybody can go ahead and make a roll I'm sorry, not a roll, a uh, initiative roll. Initiative. Thank you. Yep. Jeez. I am pumped. Oh my god. <laughs> We're all pumped. We are so ready. <laughs> I, uh, you know, guys, you guys just like seem so pumped and ready for everything that, uh, just kind of let you guys take it. Alright, Atone, I still need you in here if you want to do anything. He didn't click his character. He rolled an initiative. He prepped oh. his character. Oh, he did? Okay, so you got an initiative. Of, go ahead and roll again. I'll put four in there for you. Okay. Click your guy this time, though. You'll have to add it, or Nikron, you'll have to do it too since you. Bro, it's because they're not on the map, Mark. Oh! Yeah. Because Nikron, Bran, and Atone are not in there. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's put you in here. It's put you in here, so we'll see whether you're actually in here. So let me go ahead and do descending order. I only see, like, me and Ragnar on here. Yeah. All right, so so at the beginning of this here turn, it is Darvin. What do you wish to do? You've already told him to get ready and all that your stuff. 
Um, I will. Let me see. 10, 15. I drop back here 20, and I'm going to cast uh, Haste on Ragnar. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me I do that. About that. <clears throat> I'll at least say uh, thank you, Nestor. Because that's one of the spells that I took. Wait, is it? Yeah, that's a badass spell. That gives that gives Ragnar god powers. <laughs> well, it, it lets him it lets him it lets him make two attack or uh, take two attack actions and each of those has two attacks now. Yeah. Yeah. So just in case or just for Yep, there you go. That's yep. what I was waiting on. Yeah. Alright, so haste is going off. Next up is Nickron. You heard come from the mouth of the cavern, which has a rope going down it. Uh, it takes you a full round action to go down, or you can do a double and takes uh, half falling damage. Uh, so it, it, it is up to you, but you can hear that there's something going on. You keep hearing, Ragnar, Ragnar, get up there, there's a fucking boulder coming. Um, uh, Nickron's essentially just going to try to, like, do like a speed rappel down the rope. Okay, so you're going to take a little damage going down. Is that what you're saying, or are you going to uh, take a if you action? wanted to wait until my turn, I could do something to help you. Uh, Necron's basically starting to go down the rope. All right. So Necron, we'll put you. This is the square that you come in whenever you come down the rope. Yep. So you're not at the bottom yet, but you are starting. Alright, so next up is Ragnar. You're up, man. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh. Oh, I see the thing. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. 35, 40, 45, 55, 60, 55. Am I in melee with it? You are, yes, you are in melee with it. Let me double check to see if I've got reach. If I do, that means it, he gets an attack of opportunity. No, only because I entered it. Um, leaving it. He's, he's, he's not leaving melee with it. He's entering melee. <laughs> but if he has a 10-foot range, then if once the second he gets within, he has to leave that 10-foot range in order to do it. The way I understand that. No, because once I'm in 10 foot, I'll stay within that range. But you don't have a 10 foot reach, do you? No, but if I need to step one closer, I still have another. I still have another. Five foot. Somebody's getting thanked again. It's me packing cigarettes. I know. Alright. Oh, they even put an initiative button on there instead of you hitting your character. That's good. Oh, I see that now. Okay. Alright. We'll go with that. Okay, so bonus action rage. Okay. And then I get some attacks. And uh, wait a minute, you did a double move to get up there, didn't you? Nope, my speed is doubled from haste. His oh AC went up by he, his AC went up by two. His his normal yeah. movement increased by yeah. two. I and see. He it. Take, basically, he's going to get to make four attacks with his axe on this thing. Oh right. God. Uh, the spell specifies that I only get one extra attack. So. Well, no, no, you you get one extra at, at, uh, attack action. No, you get it one extra one attack. attack. Oh, does it? You oh, get okay, one weapon attack only. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it also says right after there, right there, uh, it the says spell. that action can be used only to take an attack, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. Right. So you didn't you dash to get up there? No. No. Oh. My speed oh, is doubled. It's already doubled. Oh. Yeah. Oh well then screw you. <laughs> my, and his, his armor class went up by two and also you get like what, advantage on deck saves or something like that? Yeah. 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 Yes, I do. But Yeah, yeah um, you do. Alright, so that's a definite hit, bud. Twelve. Alright, so twelve points. Let me just go ahead and hit this minus twelve. 
Does that include your rage? <coughs> yeah, my rage is built in. Okay. I rolled super shitty on the D12. Uh, a second attack? That's a hit. <clears throat> You're hitting armor class 17. A one on the D12. Oh. And, and a, that's another oh, wow. nine, right? Yeah. Okay, and then your single attack. God. That's another hit. There we go. Another 17, so minus 17. Alright. Alright, this thing here has damage resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non magical weapons. Yours is magical weapon, correct? Right. Uh, yep. Alright. <laughs> so, so you're good to go there. All right. Next up is the boulder gets to attack. Guess who's standing there? Um, Bran. <laughs> All right. Uh, the it's gonna get it gets two attacks per round, so two slam attacks. His first attack is against you, of course. That will be a hit for twenty-seven. And you will take 13 bludgeoning damage, which ah. I think you only take half of that, which is yep. bullshit. <laughs> and the next slam is 27. Ah. And you take 15 from that, which would be half of that, which is 7. Right? Yep, 7. Yep. Alright, so next up is Bran. Uh, you, I guess you went ahead and took a full round action to go down, Nicaron? Or did, yeah. did you want to? Okay. So you can actually move out of the way. You can move one square out of the way. So this uh, this cave in is it? Is there like walls heading down this? Yeah, there's like we're looking at walls. It's like a cavern. That I just moved. I just moved everybody over so that you can kind of see. I don't want you to move your character over where you can see better. Until you come down the, the hole. But right now, you'll be landing right here. Oh, uh, I need to put Timothy in there, don't I? Oh, I think Timothy's already there. Yeah, he is. Armor or something. Yeah, alright, so Bran, what do you want to do? Uh, Bran's going to sit down at the edge of the hole and then uh, hook his feet up underneath of it and use my boots of spider climb to uh, walk down the, the ceiling and the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that. You can actually get down pretty easily. Let it put you there. Atone, okay. you're up, and Bran's not in your way. Okay, uh, who else is left up it here with you, me? It, it takes you a full round action to get down, mate. Uh, how far down okay. is it? Uh, it's a full round action, so it's at least a 40 foot drop down. Oh. Um... I was going to do spider climb on both me and Dovin, but it doesn't really help us get down 40 feet, so I'm just going to go down. Okay. Alright, so round one is over. Do, am I missing somebody? No, I'm not. Alright, round one is over. Darvin, you're up now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30... And I can't see the thing, so I'll dash. And uh, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, and I'll just, uh, I'll just stay there since I dashed. And I'm okay. good. All right, next up is Nikron. You're up. All right. Um, I don't think you can see it yet either. One, two. Uh, Agnar's got a new friend. Yeah, so Nikron's going to take dash action. Ragnar. Is it my turn? It um, is now. Now it's Ragnar's turn. Let's start hitting it. Uh, <laughs> let's make them reckless. Ooh, that means you're going to lose your armor class. That's cool. No, I don't lose my armor class. You just get advantage, yeah. yeah. But he, was, he was hitting me anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He was hitting me anyway. Mm. Uh, that's a miss. Okay. Got a little overexcited. 
<laughs> yeah. Edging it. To the best of us. Alright, so that's 15 points. <coughs> Next up. And then you get an action, a bonus action or something like that. Or another attack, right? And that is a hit. Because you get advantage, right? Right. Yeah. Minus 13. 13. Alright. Next up is the boulder's turn. The boulder is actually going to do two slam attacks on you again. First attack is a hit. Uh, yep. Or half half a 16, so it'd be 8. 8. And then another miss. No. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> Wait a minute, do I have advantage on you? Yeah, because of. Um, because, because you went reckless? Yeah. Yes. So that's another hit. <sighs> For seven points of damage. I've already had it for you. Well, you can see. Hey, I'm actually doing some damage to you. Next up is Bran. Ah, uh, yes. Um. I don't know. Let me check. Uh, Karen. Oh, yeah, they don't speak Bran Morgan. Oh. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, my light didn't move with me. Damn it. Twenty-five, thirty. I don't see him yet. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Ah, oh, there he is. Uh, I will now. Yell out my word of healing, Ragnar! <laughs> I'll take it. You gotta find my. Uh, it's a, you just shift click my character. Yeah. Healing word at second level. Wow, Ooh. so uh, 13. 13 back. Next up is a tone. All right, I'm gonna do stuff hopefully. So no, what? I'm gonna do that stuff hopefully. Uh, gonna move up here. What? What are you saying? Uh, he's gonna do something hopefully. Yep. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, twin spell haste on me and Necron. <laughs> Don't you have to be standing right next to him? It's a 30 foot. 30 foot, okay. Yep. Actually, I'm going to double check just because I'm not 100%. I think it, it is. is. You got to be yeah. 30 foot. Yep. in certain range. So, going to move 30 more feet. Alright, is that one of your magical things? Uh, twinning it thing? is one of the sorcery things. Yeah, use a sorcery point. Yep. yep. I and, use actually oh. two, actually, no, three of them to twin that. <laughs> but that's not one of your abyssal abilities. Nope. Okay. No. Yeah. It is a wild magic abilities. Yeah. Go ahead and make your Ooh. roll for for your wild magic ability before because you still oh. had to do that. Yep. Let's see what if you trigger one of them first. I hope it does. I don't know why, but I just hope it does. Yay! Oh, it did. It does. It did. Yeah, it does. <laughs> now what I have done is I have. Fix that wild magic search <laughs> thing where you should be able to pull it out and make the roll for yourself. Oh, it's like the full on, like, from the player's handbook? Yes, it is. The only thing yes. I've done, I've taken every one of those abilities and I've. The only thing I've changed is wording. The effect is still the same, but the wording is a little bit different. <laughs> hey, I get to change my age! All right, so so what happens is is first has to roll. All right, so uh, your age changes by the number of years equal to the roll. So by two years, if the roll is odd, you get younger. If the roll is, you get older. So you just really you just gain two years on your. I'm life. now twenty six. 
and uh, change it on I can now with a car! Yay! Oh, it's permanent too? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's permanent until I think you get like lesser restoration or something like that. He's like, man, my knee hurts now. What's up with this? <laughs> For some I'm reason, I'm even it. more in depression than I was just a second ago. <laughs> okay, uh, and that spell does not go off. Uh. What? I thought the spell still happened even if wild magic surge happens. Yeah. Say, say that one more time. The spell still happens e even if uh, wild magic surge happens. Both of them oh, just, just happen. It's just an additional. Well, yeah. I will tell you, on some of these, the spell doesn't. The spell goes off, but it's changed. So I'll, right. I'll tell yeah. you that. And if you don't like that, reroll a character because. There is a punishment for playing wild mage. Yeah, right? but it's also supposed to have like actual. It's rest. supposed to have benefits on it too, as the whole thing. With oh, that. it does. Yeah. There is well, some benefits you're on it. Get into that gentleman's club. <laughs> so, yeah. Some of these, though, I've you know. I mean, I have changed it a little bit, but it's whatever it is. I can win a code now. Like you can't do that till you're 25. So <laughs> it's a big thing, especially in a world without codes. I don't yeah. think he's actually hit a good one yet. No. Nope. There is some good ones. No, he did the other day. He just didn't really... He had a glow thing on him. I'm not sure if you'd really call it a good one. Because that blue glow, if he had died within the last, next minute, it automatically gets reincarnated. Oh. So I'm not <laughs> sure if it's a good thing or not, but... <laughs> it was a not negative thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. But he, but he did get that the other day. So you've got haste, and Nicaron's got haste now. Yep. Alright, and that's it for you, oh. isn't it? Did that, did that yep. make uh, Nickron older, too, since it was targeting him? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to do that. <laughs> Although, there is, there oh, I kind of like the there idea a... that, like, haste, because it's moving us so fast through time, oh, that we yeah. just aged yeah. rapidly. <laughs> no, you yeah. just stole my age, Nickron. Yeah. Alright, so round two, Darvin. Back to you, man. Um... I am going to move up. Where was I? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I'm going to cast. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to cast Magic Missile as a uh, second level spell at this thing. Alright. It actually has a gem. <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> It doesn't catch it. Well, it might catch it. What do you mean? I'm in him somewhere. It's got gems in it. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 14. That's 14 damage. 14 points of damage, and that is magical, so therefore it will do some damage to it. I'll move back five since that was on. Yeah, I'll bet okay. that axe pissed there's no blood. Yep. Nicaron, you're up. <laughs> you, you feel the haste spell kicking over on you. You're now twinging with, with adrenaline. You just All right. Must have that line of cocaine. First <laughs> things first, you got a cloud. <clears throat> Hunter's uh, Mark. All right. That's pretty easy to do. Yeah, on that guy. And let's start the rolling. Uh, so he's going to shoot once. There's a 15 hit. No, 15 does not hit. You must have a 17 or greater. Alright, one shot. Well, actually it does hit, it just doesn't penetrate. Second shot, hits again, but hits that gem. Doesn't penetrate. <coughs> Alright, we're going to use the stair. Now that one hits. Alright, seven. It's only that much damage. Uh, which is... Well, yeah, Colossus Slayer, doesn't it get Colossus? Oh, I... it's already been damaged, sorry. Uh, so it gets a total of 14. Okay, minus 14. And it is magical now. Yep. Alright, Ragnar, you're up. Missing, man, missing. <laughs> Let's just reckless <laughs> hit shit. Uh, let's see. Hit one. That hits. Yep. Green. 
That would be 13. At number two. That's a uh, hit. That's a hit. Another uh, third. Uh, 13. Come on. And miss, the miss, third miss. one. Miss. Yes. Missed. Oh, shit. Well, the natural one. Okay. It is, it is its turn. It immediately right. just, just disappears. Just literally just sinks right down into the ground. Don't I get an attack of opportunity? You get an attack of opportunity. You're going to miss, though, because it knows it. Oh. Yeah, you still have advantage, don't you? Um. Yeah, because until the end of your round, I get dis uh, I get advantage on you. <coughs> yeah, so I think I do. Yeah. Well. That's enough to break it up. Yeah, it, it, it goes about halfway down. You take your hammer and slam on top of his head, and it just just crumbles. And you can see little boulders and rocks and that kind of stuff just splatter everywhere, type thing. And uh, and it stops moving. The mark goes away too. Ah, I'm back. Well, you got back, you got back just in time to see the Elmo fall down to the ground hmm. and crumble apart. Now, what you see down here in this here cavern here looks like a old, old cavern made out of what looks to be a real sparkling type granite, hmm. uh, stone, and that kind of stuff. And this elemental happens to be made out of it also. Uh, now it's unworked stone, but it can be made into something nice. Hmm. Yes, yes. Um, can Necron head over and look for the gems? That is uh, yeah, it's, yeah, there's, there's some uncut gems in here also. In amongst this here pile of this here, uh, elemental. Uh, there's a total worth of uh, 200 gold pieces of uncut gems. Alright, add that to the party treasure. Now, if you get the right person, you can have them cut, of course, and then you can probably sell them for a little bit more, but, you know, you, you may have to pay somebody to is do this that. A, is this quarry technically on our property, our land? No, it's not. Do we have the rights to it? Uh, no, you do not have the right right here. But good try. I'd already thought about that. We could, uh, since we since we basically did the foreman a favor with this, we could ha uh, tell him to transport uh, the the remains of the uh, elemental, which is, I guess, that's what the good stuff is. No, the good stuff no, is all no, around us down here. It's, it's all around you. There's quite a bit of it here. We could uh, negotiate uh, for uh, some of that to get transported back to our place. Yeah. No, Ragnar. Oh, okay. Uh, who's our face character? Necron. Necron. <laughs> Necron. Yeah, but which one? But which one of y'all going to be Necron though? That's a question. <laughs> yes, it died. Okay. Game does not seem. I gotta. Sorry. But I can tell you what, actually, it was that haste that you put on Nikron that actually did do it, though, because, uh... <laughs> Nikron, Nikron was the one got, that killed it. Got, uh, huh? Nikron was the one that killed it all by himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> but if it hadn't been for Nikron's extra damage, he wouldn't have gone down. He would have yeah. got away. So. Well, I think if I would have made one of the other two shots, that's a plus 12 damage instead of a plus, five, uh, yeah. of a plus 6. Yeah. Alright, so we are at whatever y'all want to do now. Uh, well, my, do we want to take a minute to further investigate this cave while we're down here, or do we want to just get back up? Yeah, we need to make sure there's no other uh, little monstrosities yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want any more delays. Especially since we're going to be away from the keep. 
happens, they'll just sit around. Uh, you go down to this area here, you can hear the dripping of the earth. And you can actually see the water when you get down there. Oh, yes. I found water. I like this stone. This stone will make good, good, uh, good building stone. Very decorative, anyway. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what you've got down here. You saved. That's it. It would make very good. All right, uh, we. Yeah. We might as well go back up and tell the foreman uh, they can uh, they can get back to work now. Now that we've uh, oh they owe us anyways for clearing out their uh, place. Yeah, Nick Ron's going to speak to them about uh, transporting some of this high-quality granite back to our place for, for use right. in the construction of our thing. All right, so uh, Jonas comes up to you after you all come out and says, Oh, so have you all taken care of the problem? I didn't, don't see anything coming out, but I did hear some stuff. Yeah, the thing that it wasn't a dragon that you uh, first reported. It was actually just a giant rock monster. How did they get dragon from giant rock? Yeah, it's sort of weird. Well, I, I think it's more of a thing where, like, if you know, if you don't know, just or if you don't have a lot of experience with things in general, just everything's a dragon. Everything's a dragon. Got it. <laughs> well, I mean, this way people make it out to be. It probably started off with the the first rumor. You know, the first two people down there probably said it was a rock. Then it became a, you know, <laughs> this right here, and then it just kept on growing. Next thing you know, it's an ancient red dragon down there. Or what if there is a dragon and we only found a rock elemental? Like the rock elemental was innocent bystander. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's so well, we, we, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you all. Now we'll be able to get some more rocks cut now. Yeah, and in order to, uh, since we helped uh, deal with your problem, I think it's more than fair that we get a little something out of this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, what, what did you have in mind? Because, you know, we don't have a lot of money. So. Well, we are building a keep and such, so... Ah, yes, yes. yes. One wagon load. Uh, the, uh, there are some particularly high-quality rocks that was found down there, so... I think uh, if those could be transported for no additional cost, I think that would be fine if my associates agree. The whole oh, yeah. oh, I, I no, couldn't do that. No. Well, we, we should have hired someone else. No, I didn't even know that we'd cabin. hired you. No, oh, the oh not the whole oh, Okay. How about um, one ton? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we basically have a character. Basically, we want the rocks from the rock monster. Well, no, that's no, ours anyway. We want, anyways, <laughs> the we want okay. some of the high quality uh, core rock that's around here that can be yeah, yeah. through later on. One ton of the fine quartz rock that we saw down there. Okay, how about how about a large table? No, oh, the oh. Uh, the rock. How about a? Let's see here, a twenty foot. By ten foot, uh, yeah, twenty foot by ten foot uh, cube. Oh, that's highway robbery. Ten foot by ten foot. Hmm. Ten, ten by ten. It's the same amount of rocks, different proportion. Oh, five by ten. <laughs> no, no, no. No, <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> that. I was, that was me in my mind. I think I was like, that's the same proportion. Okay, okay. I thought, so, you said, I thought you said 20 foot by 10. Mm-hmm. 10 by 10 is... Oh, okay. Then. Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm thinking of carded. All right. <laughs> I'm retarded. going to try and be as persuasive. So how about 15 by 10? Okay, what was your persuasion? 22. Oh, 22, geez. Oh, jeez. But, 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 you're, but you're at disadvantage. Uh, oh, that's a 15, though. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You're, you're a pretty famous person. And maybe if I... 
twenty by ten. That sounds reasonable. We'll have it delivered within the week. Oh, that's, Thank you that's very perfect, much. That guy, yes. <clears throat> and y'all can have made out of it whatever you. I'm thinking a statue. Of uh, you. <laughs> 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 statue of Ragnar in Nicaragua. Uh, be a statue of Brandon Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> and not even the children can come to look at it. <laughs> you know, I have safe shown, so yeah, go ahead and make you a thing. I'm just gonna make advertisements all around your stomach about going down to my tavern. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so you all have cleared out the cavern and got the, uh, oh, whatever it's called going on now. Resumed production. Yep, resumed production. And so you all can, let me take you back to the main map, map of the area. We have to head to the mire now. Okay, so right now y'all are up in the quarry, which is up in this area. Here, I'll have to actually put a quarry there. I wonder how much that stone does weigh. A lot. <laughs> I'm sure it does. It's a lot oh, more yeah. Than a ton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 20 by 10 by 10? Mm -mm. It's a lot of stone. <laughs> They'll have to break it up. Yeah, um. It's going to smash the wagon I otherwise. Oh, I know that loose drag, like drag the stone. I know that loose granite is uh one five foot cube is two thousand pounds because that was actually something that was relevant yesterday in my life, so Yeah, I, I knew that, that was way more than a ton. And I knew it wouldn't take <laughs> wouldn't take very much for a ton of granite to be No. Nope. So, so anyway, but they'll give you a pretty good size something that you all can make either some really big doors out of, or a large table, something like that. Ooh, so... <clears throat> doors would be nice. I mean, everyone who would come there would have to go through the door. Maybe to show off, but, you know, a little a little bit of... Uh, of, of, kind of, of uh, opulence. Not overstated, not understated. You know, just... It's a nice touch. And I guess they would be considered, like, uh, reinforced be harder to get into, maybe? I don't know. They were, were granite. Yeah. They were granite, yeah. So, anyway, y'all are uh, at the quarry still, so you can either go whichever way you want to go. Hmm. So we're going to try to go to the uh, oh. witch fens and find oh. that uh, find oh. that um, yeah. the part of that uh was down there was the uh, thing that looked like a snake. 